All right, so you wanna start with the egg right in the middle. And you wanna go ahead and make sure that you are at about medium heat so that that can start to cook. And right away, I'm gonna just add my seasoning to the middle of the egg, just a little bit of pepper. You know, you can season it to your taste. It all depends on your flavor profiles. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some grapes, cut them in half, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay them throughout the pan. This is just gonna add a little bit of pop of flavor and color to our dish. This is one of my favorite breakfast meals to make. It's fun, it's colorful, it's nutritious. And as many grapes as you like. Some people de-skin their grapes. I personally like the skin on mine. So then along with those, you just wanna make sure they're in a perfect circle. You can add other fruits to this. I like blueberries. So you just wanna go ahead and scatter your blueberries throughout the pan. And you'll see when this all comes together, how pretty the colors are gonna look and all the flavors are just gonna mash together. So you definitely have your egg cooking in the middle. You can see that there. You've got your grapes and your blueberries. Now to bring everything together, you just want some pancake mix. I love blue pancakes. So you just wanna, we're gonna fill up all the cavities, all the crevices. You can go ahead and take your time doing this while that egg cooks in the middle. Yeah, this is one of my favorite breakfasts to make, especially for kids and their family. They just love the colors, the fun fruits in it, and it's nutritious, a great way to start your breakfast, start your day. Yeah, so you can definitely start to see a bubble. That means that it's cooking. You can turn down your heat a little bit, just so that you can make sure it doesn't overcook. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pink pancake mix, just in the spaces between the blues. Yeah, just like that. Mmm, ooh, you can already start to smell it. It's really good. Yeah, you can definitely see the bubbles. That's what you want to happen while we fill in the rest of the spaces. Along with my sweet of the fruit and the pancakes, I like to add a little bit of spice to mine. Not everybody likes to do that, but you can, you can experiment with different flavors if you want. You have those bubbles right there, that's perfect. So I go ahead and just use a little bit of sriracha. Um, you can use just regular sriracha or a sriracha mayo, depending on what kind of of flavors you like. I'm just gonna add a little a couple of dollops here and there on top of those pancakes. You don't wanna make it too spicy, especially if you have kids, but I like a little bit of scattered spice in there. So yeah, you definitely just wanna let that cook a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and cover it. It's gonna cook right away. Once the, the steam starts to fill that up, you can turn up the heat as well if you'd like a little bit. You definitely don't wanna to go too hot to burn that pancake. But once we flip this, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be delicious, colorful, and just a, a great breakfast meal for your family, for yourself if you don't wanna share. So once this is all done cooking, to bring all the flavors in together of the, the egg, the pancakes, the blueberries, I definitely put a little bit of just regular syrup um, that I put on my pancakes. You can use maple, you can use even a huckleberry syrup is good. Oh yeah, see, oh that's perfect. This is just what we want. We do want maybe a little bit more in here. So I'm gonna add another egg. You can add as many eggs as you like, depending on how much protein you like. I'm just gonna add another one right there. 
if the egg yolk, if the egg whites go off into the pancake, that's fine because once we flip it, everything will just blend together. That's great. Oh, this is turning out perfect. You definitely see the pancake starting to rise and that sriracha seeping into the pancake mix is gonna be beautiful. Yeah, so you just want that to simmer to cook a little bit. There's one more fun ingredient you add right at the end before you're gonna flip. It's just a little fun festive piece that I like to add. Oh yeah, you definitely wanna make sure that all the edges are covered and that way everything will just stick together. Perfect. So let's let that cook a little bit. The steam will definitely get in there and help cook that top egg as well. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead, I like to add a couple little sprinkles to the mix. Give it a little fun color, and also different texture that you can use as well. Oh, this is perfect. This egg is taking a little long, so you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that. I'm gonna pop this egg so that the yolk can envelop this top layer. So the bottom egg is cooking, forming that centerpiece of the toast, and then this top egg will just kind of sear it all in place. So let's go ahead and cover that again. I'm just gonna let that cook a little bit. But you can definitely see the different, the grapes and the blueberries, they're all just forming in the pancake along with the toast and the egg. This is a great breakfast. My kids don't always like to eat breakfast, so this definitely gets them excited in the morning and start their day off right. Oh, this is perfect. It's basically done. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper actually to that new egg that we put on there. Perfect. Simmer up just a little bit more. We're gonna flip it right now and then we're gonna see on the other side the blending of the colors with the different fruits in there. It's just gonna be really delicious. You can turn up the heat just a little bit if you want. I like mine a little crispy, so that'll help. Oh wow, that's looking great, perfect. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and take our sprinkles. These are just like regular sprinkles. You can put on a cake or ice cream, something. Oh, this is great. Sprinkle them on there right on top of that egg right there. Oh, this is so good. Great. Just let that finish cooking. We're gonna flip it right now and then you're gonna see on the other side, the different colors of the pancakes and the berries, the grapes, they're all gonna just come together and make a really delicious breakfast. Oh wow, this is looking so good. Ooh, it smells really amazing. That sriracha, it's definitely giving that, that sweetness a little edge to it. Mm, this is gonna be so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spatula to see about the other underside of that. Yep, so while this is, oh yep, you can definitely see the edges right there. Oh, it's ready right now. Oh, this is looking great. Perfect, oh my gosh. This is like the best one I've ever made. I'm so excited to try this. Yeah, you can definitely see it's all coming together. The egg in the middle is just about done. I'm gonna flip it right now and then you're gonna see this beautiful breakfast that we've made. Good for picky eaters. It's fun, it's colorful. You have your protein, your sweets, your, vet, your fruits in there to start your day off right. Ooh yeah, this is great. This is great. Those, those grapes might pop out, but that's all right. They're still gonna soak in that flavor that's seeping around the pancake. Ooh, that's so good. Yeah, so we're just gonna let the steam cook the top of the egg for just a little bit longer. Oh wow, this is looking beautiful. I'm gonna get our plate ready. Oh yeah, this is great. Perfect. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip this so that everything comes on the plate at once. Oh wow, this looks this looks better than I had expected. Oh wow, look at that. Put it all on the plate. Perfect. You can definitely see the char on those blueberries with the sear on the grapes. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. And the egg cooked in the middle. Mmm. This is great. Perfect. So then just to end it, we're going to top it off with that syrup. Get that open just to give it that last little sweet texture. And ooh, perfect. And this is your pancake toast sunrise breakfast. It's delicious.